of funny car drag racing is definitely unique. The sport is characterized by the fastest cars, some crazy stunts, and pretty women. Basically the inception of the wildly popular film franchise The Fast and the Furious. But these daredevils were breaking the speedometer decades before Dom and company took to the streets of LA. And no one personified the world of funny car drag better than Jungle Jim and Jungle Pam. The fastest, hottest duo on and off the strip. Now Jungle Jim's racing skills got them onto the strip, but it was perhaps Jungle Pam's stark beauty and and sex appeal that helped propel them to the top spot in the sport. So how did their paths originally cross? Was it fate or a lucky coincidence? Let's find out. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, and let's peel on out of here, back to the world of funny car drag racing. But before we do, cruise on over to that thumbs up icon if you don't mind, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's roll. Jungle Jim. It's called funny car drag racing because the cars are built in unique shapes and forms. But don't be mistaken, speed and car handling skills are still the main point of the shows. But to keep fans interested, there's always a performative aspect of the shows. Kinda like professional wrestling. The drivers themselves are very showy individuals, and women like Jungle Pam highlighted the necessary sex appeal that kept people showing up week after week to try and catch a glimpse of her. And of course to see Jungle Jungle Jim's epic burnouts. So let's meet him. Sure. Russell James Lieberman, better known as Jungle Jim, was a star on the funny car racing circuit. He started drag racing after dropping out of high school, already being the hometown hero in the drag racing world. A friend of his saying, quote, Jim was the king, a hard ass racer and a great showman. Makes me think of Rebel Without a Cause a bit. You're tearing me apart. Jungle Jim was a very talented driver and quickly made a name for himself in the sport, known for his backwards driving skills and of course those epic burnouts. Do you remember Jungle Jim's Blue Vega? That was a gorgeous ride. Jungle Pam Pamela Hardy, also known as Jungle Pam, was widely known as the drag racing bombshell. She wasn't a driver herself, but she exuded a passion for the sport and you could tell. She was always ensuring the car was properly lined up and doing all she could to help Jim win from out of the driver's seat. And it didn't hurt that she was absolutely stunning. Pam became one of the most influential figures in the world of funny car drag racing. So how did the two actually meet? an unusual partnership. Jim was cruising around their hometown of Westchester, Pennsylvania one May evening in his yellow 72 Corvette. When he spotted Pam walking to the mall, he thought she was gorgeous so he invited her to a party. Pam was only 18 at the time and about to graduate from high school. And Jim told her all about his life as a drag car racer. And Pam was intrigued, never having heard of the sport before. She asked him if she could accompany him to his next event. And he was smitten that she was taking an interest. And Pam Hardy was mystified by the spectacle she witnessed, the colorful people, and the even more vibrantly painted cars, built in ways she had never seen before. So Pam Hardy fast became a member of Jungle Jim's racing team, deciding to drop out of college to do so, which caused a lot of tension between Pam and her mother. Pam had been accepted into Westchester State planning to study business, and her mother did not approve of this funny car lifestyle. But the two did mend their relationship years later. Jungle Pam's initial job was to place Jungle Jim's car on the starting line, and she did this with great flair always wearing the hippest and usually rather skimpy outfits while doing so. But Pam wasn't content to sit by and just be a drag racing bombshell, no. She learned everything she could about funny cars and the sport. And with the skilled Jungle Jim as her teacher, Pam quickly learned the ropes. And she was soon given more responsibilities, checking underneath the cars while they were on the start line, ensuring everything looks good for a blistering race. She also packed the parachute and made sure the engine was in proper condition with enough oil and so forth. And Jungle Pam soon established a trademark look a revealing top with no bra. Pam was blessed with a large bosom, and she certainly knew how to flaunt it. Maybe that's why Jim slammed on those brakes all those years ago. Pam stated that she didn't wear a bra simply because they weren't comfortable, and those revealing clothes were key to keeping cool on the hot asphalt. 
but Jungle Pam was no fool and knew full well what her outfits were doing for the publicity of Jungle Jim's team and the sport in general. Soon, people were attending these events in order to try and spot the infamous Jungle Pam, and it helped catapult Jungle Jim to the front of the pack. But Pam didn't let the spotlight get to her head and didn't fully realize how popular she was. One day, she and Jim were at the airport trying to catch a flight when a fan spotted them and raced on over to ask Pam for an autograph. And to her surprise, it was her own face looking back at her on the cover of the magazine. She was shocked. That was the moment she realized that she had become a sex symbol that was beginning to define a decade. Does anyone remember flipping through Hot Rod hoping to spot a photo of Jungle Pam? Even though Jungle Jim and Jungle Pam were arguably the most famous couple to grace the funny car drag scene, they still weren't making a ton of money. The sport was too niche to rake it in, and sponsorship deals were not very lucrative. The couple barely made enough money to cover rent, and the two did have some rough times as well. Jim was not always faithful to Pam, but they continued patching things up because Pam wanted to spend the rest of her life with her high-speed jungle partner. And Jungle Jim planned to retire from drag racing and open his own engine repair shop. But sadly, this never happened due to one tragic day, the crash. The dynamic duo of Jungle Pam and Jungle Jim came to an end in 1977, when Jim Lieberman was killed in a car accident. He was driving his yellow 72 Corvette in his hometown of Westchester, going too fast around a curve when he collided head-on with a transit bus, wedging his car under the front of the smashed metal. It took first responders nearly an hour to get Jim out of the wreckage, and to add insult to injury, the accident took place just two days before his 32nd birthday. The funny car world was utterly devastated to hear this news. Jim had a large, dedicated fan base that loved him, and he in turn loved his fans. Everyone he interacted with had a story to tell, so if you are one of the lucky drag fans, who got an interaction or saw him race live. Please get in the comments and tell us all about it. Pam's Later Life Pamela Hardy's mother was the one who had to inform her about Jim's tragic death. Obviously, she was devastated, and Pam never worked with another driver in the funny car scene out of respect for her Jim, so she left the world of drag racing. She does occasionally make appearances as Jungle Pam at conventions and still loves the world of funny car drag racing, but in her opinion, the drag scene isn't as interesting as it used to be. And without Jim and Pam, no, no, not that Jim and Pam, the original Jim and Pam. The funny car drag scene just never was the same, and neither was Pam after Jim's passing, always having a hard time with relationships. She was married on two different occasions to two men both in the world of funny car racing. Her first husband was Fred Frey, a funny car owner, but the pair divorced and she later married Bill Hodgson, who was a funny car mechanic. Today, Pam Hardy is 64 years old and lives a relatively quiet life. Of course, anything is quiet compared to the high-speed drag racing scene that transformed a high school student into a jungle phenomenon. The world of funny car racing will forever remember Jungle Jim and Jungle Pam and the antics that brought a lot of spectators to a rather untapped sport. So let's toast to the duo. Do you remember watching them back in the day? Did you have a different favorite driver from the funny car racing world of the 70s? Let us know in the comments below. We want to hear from you. As always, don't forget to smash that thumbs up icon for us and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a throwback. From all of us here at Do You Remember, thank you for watching.